Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Hey, what's up? Get the jab, fuck off! Why are you assuming I don't have the jab? She's screaming at me. Can you please go? Because I have to enjoy my dinner. She, she, look, she looks like she wants to chat. If I walk past you and you scream stuff, don't expect me. No, I like it here. I feel like I like it here. So why why is your missus screaming out if she doesn't she looks like she wants attention? You know, I'm gonna give you a couple of things, okay? I've got to have some sign on your house, too. No, it's not even the one to get up here from an art or a gun. No, it's not even the one to get up here what did you just call her? We're trying to enjoy a lovely meal. What did you call her? Why did you call her? Don't worry about it, Don't touch me, man. That's deep. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Fuck out of here, you fucking Touch me. Step back. What are you going to fucking do? Don't touch me. I won't touch you, will you? I'm standing in a public car. Stand back. Stay back. Mate, mate, you raise, you raise the hand. You raise the hand. Stay back. You raise your hand. Touch me again, you fucking Stay back out of our space. Get the fuck out of my space, you fucking piece of shit. Let's just enjoy the night. You fucking cunt. What? Let's go. Look at you, you fucking right wing cunts. You fucking happy? This is what you say that's a good thing to do? <laughs> Look at you. You're gonna pick on the girl. You're gonna I'll pick on her. I'll pick whoever I want, right. you fucking piece of shit. Alright, bruv. What do you Look at me. You like to pick fights. I'll be on the cell phone. What did you even come here for? I'm what a, did you I'm come a, here I'm for? I'm interviewing, there's a protest, What are you mate? interviewing what me for? What are you for? doing here? What am I doing? I'm fucking having dinner here, yeah, you fucking idiot. Yeah, she was screaming idiot. at me, mate. Really? Because did, did anyone want to talk to you at all? Did anyone want to talk to you at all? All right, mate, you're so... Did anyone want to talk to you at all? The virus, the virus. Shut the fuck up! Stand back! Fucking hit me again, mate. Stand back! Fucking hit me again! Stand back! Hit me again, you fucking cunt! Stand back! You were not again! You were not to touch him! But what, are you to touch me? Who the you fuck not are you to touch, touch me? No, no, you are not to touch him. Keep your distance. No, no, Keep your distance. No, no, no. I'm sending you to fucking no, no. Keep your distance. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. No, no, no. Keep your distance. He didn't do anything. Don't, don't, don't. Where? There we go. Come. He, they raise their hands and then they complain about assault. This is the reason why I need to get the bouncer. Like, when you see Muppet like this on the street, like a bounce always sets them right and to be honest i really don't know why they are pissed like is everyone just frustrated like why are you so angry that i have to take your shit out on people just trying to do a simple interview like i really don't understand but we all need this kind of bouncer at our back like you agree to this this interview we have a right to get listen, the listen to you. so she she's being pretty disruptive are you gonna do anything about it um, I believe you did not want me to get the out of my face. Dude, step back. Don't tell, tell him to stop following Get the her. out of my face, too. Go Wonderful. Get a red outfit and wear it. Okay. What the <laughs> red outfit? Also, do you need to stand up for her? Take the off. Don't cheat. Up for her? Take the off. Don't cheat. You know, stop. That's assault. Seriously. That's assault. What? You know, stop. Seriously. That's assault. That is assault. What's your name? Is this your daughter? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Is this your daughter? What's your name? What's your name? Is this your daughter, ma'am? She just assaulted us. Okay, your daughter just assaulted us. Your daughter just assaulted us. Okay. We'll, we'll go let the police know your daughter assaulted us. Are she just assaulted hey, us? Are you gonna do anything? Daughter, go someplace else. Don't touch me, okay. sir. Don't Fine, touch me. Go someplace else. Do not touch me. Fine, but go someplace else. Please back else. away from me. You've already touched you're me at this point. These people. I'm not I harassing see what you're doing. Leave me. How is conducting a simple interview harassment? Like I hate when I see woke people, especially when they are elderly people. People are both 30. Like you're supposed to have sense by now. Like it you know a child. You harassing someone and claiming to be the victim is just so, so disgusting. Like, I really can't stand this. Because I'm a woman and I've shared a lot with you and it's never been met with any sort of understanding or empathy. It's only been met with hostility and like this weird commitment to not understanding me. 
And Can I just say the same thing to you? Sure. No empathy, no understanding. Sure. If that's uh, how you feel. Okay, so... Crying is one of the ways that the body processes the trauma in real time. That way we don't hold on to it. Or is it a way to appeal to emotion to try to get people onto your side without actually having a strong foundation or position for what you're actually trying to say and argue? That is a way that people who lack genuine empathy, that is a way that they use appeared emotion to manipulate others, but my emotion is actually genuine. Okay. What? Some women cry to manipulate. Like, some people cry to just grab and beg for sympathy. And it's disgusting in the sense that maybe you're winning an argument with your girlfriend and she just feel like she has to pull up the crying card. So you feel bad and just apologize because she's one crying. And I honestly believe that this makes people feel nothing for tears because tears will be a sad emotion where you genuinely feel sorry or you feel pained or you feel angry and you just have to let that emotion out for all the white cis women who are upset about my last video and saying that it's just misogyny and how dare i make something like this during women's history month first off y'all are just proving my point y'all need to recognize that your experience of being a woman is not the only way to experience womanhood secondly Let's talk about Women's History Month, shall we? Women's History Month was based off of International Women's Day, which is March 8th. And that was started by Clara Zetkin, who was a German activist, and she was not a nice white woman. She was an anti-war communist who literally ran against Hitler and the Nazi party. She fought for everyone. If you want to be a real feminist, then you fight for everyone. You fight for Palestinian women's rights. You fight for trans women's rights. You fight for black women's rights and indigenous women's rights. You fight for all women's rights. You fight for everybody's rights. Because when nice white women don't check themselves and their own privilege and the harm that they're doing, everybody else is having to compensate for it. Everybody else is having to suffer for it. Comfort is not a priority. Safety is. If you want to prioritize all women's safety, then stop being a nice white woman. Start being like Claire Zekin. So people can say a lot and still be stupid because what he's suggesting here does not make sense. You're not woman, you're clearly a man and stop being delusional. Like we all know you're not a woman. You know you're not a woman. Stop calling yourself a woman. You're not, you will never be. And it's, it's that simple. What is Harris's biggest accomplishment to date as vice president? I don't know. I don't feel comfortable doing this anymore. She, uh, she's, she's, uh, uh, was, uh, uh, she was a very good vice president. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, getting to vice president. <laughs> I have to do more research on her, honestly. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just glad to see a woman, a woman of color in charge for once. That's it. Uh, <laughs> I haven't followed her political career that closely. It's a good one. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to go there. It's crazy how you want someone that you don't know anything about to become a president just because you hate someone you know is capable of doing things. Like, it does not make sense. Like, this election, when the way you see some people talking about it, you just see, like, this is a joke. Because you clearly know that this person will be able to run the country. And you know this person won't be able to. And you just feel like, nah, I'm a liberal, so I have to go with that don't make sense, man. I mean, listen, now we gotta talk because, I mean, now we gotta talk. Get the fuck out of my face now! Ooh, that was, now! That was very rude of you. Get the fuck out of my face! Do you wanna go to jail? Sir, ma'am, I don't really know what to call you. Just You're fucking away. done, man. No I'm done. The fucking police, you just insulted me. Well, listen here, pal. I mean, ha, you are gonna go to jail. And I could fucking tell the police to get you. I'm vegan, so don't say that. Listen. You told me he, man. You really get the fuck out of my way right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. You do not have a release. I will sue you. You're gonna sue him? Don't sue him, man, because we're trying to just. I don't have a. You do not have a release. If you fucking post this, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Just keep going on. We love it. Content. We need it. Who he smacked, yo? He said he was gonna smack me, but I'm just trying to get here and get content. You know what I'm saying, guys? For if I had to put them hands on. Yeah, he better chill, right? I know. I know. I got my crew with me now. I got my crew. Yeah. It's funny when you see Muppet like who is confused. He doesn't know if he's a woman or a man. Like he, he sounds like a woman, 
then he comes out like a man. Like this, this is hilarious. Do you think genitals define gender? No, no. Um, yes. Why? Gender is a societal construct. That is, you're born with it. Like that's who you are. Like you're a man or a woman. Like that's what I believe. If genitals don't define gender, why does removing them affirm it? So a person uh, will feel more affirmed if if they change their genitals and it'll help affirm them societally. So would you then, would you say then gender does, genitals don't, do you define gender? No, I don't think so. Still say no. No. So what do you have to say to the person that says you are what you're born with and you just need to accept it? Fuck you. And what would you say to everyone that says no? I would say it's science, like. If genitals don't define gender, why does removing them affirm it? I mean, who says that affirms it though? Why do they remove their gen genitals? I mean, why do people get tattoos? Why do, like, we get piercings? I just think it's a way of an expression. I feel like people are, are what they are born with, and they can be whoever they want to be. But, like, at the end of the day, even if you take it off, you're still who you are, so. What if I, like, wanted to become black? Could I do that? I mean, no, because race is a set thing. Like, race isn't a construct, but gender is. Uh, what I see is, like, they're both things you're born with. Well, I don't think that you're born with your gender. I think gender is what society sets on people. So I could be like, you look like a boy? Shoot, if you want to say that, you can. What if I wanted to be black? Can I just be black? You can't just assume a different culture, especially considering the um, hierarchies of race. So what if like, I wanted to be black? Can I do that? Because that's what I wanted to be? Um, I don't think... No. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but like... Why? what I want to be, it's what I like. Yeah. Except me. <laughs> it's a valid point. This is crazy and the fact that people are saying gender is a social construct is pure delusion and pure foolishness. To be honest, but there's no way you can tell me that you're born with it, you can change it. Even if you want to be delusional, but like, I don't believe you can change it. Mm. A large population of this world believe you can change it, and it's a fact. Because if you can change it, I clearly can change your race. I can identify as rich. Like, we can all go and do this delusional shit. I will be competing in the men's categories in all of my sporting events this year. So my ski races, my ultra endurance marathons, and anything else I may do, and I'm doing it to raise awareness that women's sports are fragile now more than ever before in history. We have to remember that women's sports were not always here. They were created entirely for female athletes. And this was a rarity a hundred years ago, even 50 years ago, for women to compete in athletic endeavors. And now the threat of males in competition is real. And it's threatening the very existence of what it means to be a female competitive athlete in earning accolades, money, scholarships, tuition, whatever those prizes may be. And we have to stand up. I'm doing my part this year, as little as it may be, to raise awareness for this. And I hope you guys follow along and support me. Someone took my uh, photo or video or something on the phone on the train this evening. And that happens often, like people like in public, but it's like people like, they assume, like, I'm just some sort of video game character in their life that they can just, like, <laughs> I don't know, just... Hey, <laughs> I wouldn't f*** you if you... Oh, no, no way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See? This can't be real. Like, this... This is no real. I know, I know that like, we care an awful lot about children here. Uh, so, uh, yes. Little oh, is, that, is that so you don't mess with trans kids? Indeed it does. It's a great shirt. Um, Wait, so you think it's okay for a 14-year-old to be able to have their pee chopped off? No, I don't. Also, that's not how gender reassignment surgery goes. Well, and yes, it, yes, it does, actually. You don't cut it off. It's significantly more complicated. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. They flip it inside out. It's a lot more complicated. Oh, they flip it inside out. They don't actually chop it off. It's a medical marvel, I, 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 I stand. I stand corrected. You're okay with 14-year-olds having that happen? I already said no. Okay, so, sh so we can agree that we should not have gender reassignment surgery for trans kids. No. Can I get to my question, please? No, I have a question. Why? Can, can we agree 
that, that it should be illegal for someone to have gender reassignment care or surgery if they're 14 years old. For the third time, no. We should not have that. Or wait. At 14 years old? I'm yes. not a doctor, man. But no, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple moral question. Shouldn't we agree as society that 14-year-olds should not be able to go under the knife for a phase that they might be in? Probably not. Ask a doctor. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we almost have agreement. A child should never go through that question because he doesn't know who he is yet. It's like your child telling you, Mom, I feel like you. I'm a driver. I want to drive your car. Like, clearly it does not make sense. You're not allowed a 14-year-old drive your car. Like, you won't because he's a child. So allow him to grow up to understand what he's talking about. Like, he haven't even hit poverty fully so like calm down like i see people that you need to chill there's a movie i was watching del air like the boy feel like he's he was at the very as day them and he saw this girl and he went back straight to his gender i'm like calm down like more like you haven't your child haven't experienced life yet so this kind of phase it's we well off so just calm down with your children please like i'm begging like it's it's hard for you to see parents who actually believe in this nonsense. Trump or Harris? Harris, Harris. <laughs> Why? Why Harris? Well, Trump is a racist. That's the number one. He's a racist. Uh, he told three American women to go back to where they came from. Three American women? Yes. Who, who was that? Oh, that was his. That's when he was president. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's when he was president. So tell me something you like about Trump and something you don't like about Harris. Something I like about Trump, border patrol. Immigration policies, yes, that's immigration big. Immigration policies. I, I think the way that he stands strong on that, I love that. And especially what's going on in Colorado, I'm kind of shaky about how Harris can handle that. Tell me something you don't like about Kamala. That I do not like about her? Oh, her immigration policy. We don't know what it is. She's yeah, we don't know what it is. Do you know any of her policies at this point? Oh, that's a good question. Let's see. Who knows her policies, really? Yeah, she didn't list them on things. Yeah, she haven't listed them yet. And it's crazy how you see Muppet like this wanting to vote in someone who does not have any policy. This is something I actually did recently because they were having a, an SRC election in my school and I was looking for a friend because he is a friend. And my assistant concept told me like, hey, do you know that this guy does not have any policy? And I was like, nah. He asked me, I should list one. I was like, I don't know, but he definitely do. Then I called him. I was like, yo, bro, what's your policy? And he, the election was tomorrow. I was like, what's your policy? And he told me, we will bring them out later. Cut. You know how stupid I felt like? Like, I'm rooting for this. I don't want to call names, but like, I'm rooting for this guy and he does not have any policy. Because I was trying to make my Asinta Cosweb vote for him and I really don't have anything to back myself with because I did not make my own research. And this is something I have done and I wish no one, no one should ever do it. Like, see the policies of who you are voting for, even if they are lying about it. But like, at least they made a promise. Don't just vote for someone that does not have any single promise. Like, it's half it rather than none.